Hi there! In this video, we'll be going over one of Time to Pet's most valuable scheduling tools, templates. Many dog walking and pet sitting companies have clients who request services on a recurring basis. The templates tool in Time to Pet allows you to automate scheduling and generating invoices for these types of clients. Imagine you have a client that has the same services scheduled week after week after week. A walk at 12.30 p.m. every Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. Scheduling this client manually every week would be tedious and time-consuming. With a template, you can set up these services once and have them automatically, or with the click of an Approve button, added to your schedule every week with invoices that are automatically generated. So you never have to wonder, did I forget to schedule John Doe's walks this week? Today we will be creating a template together. To create a template, you will first go to the Scheduler tab on your dashboard. From here, we'll go to the Templates tab. And next, we'll click Add New Template at the top. Templates are highly customizable, and we'll go over filling out this form together. First is the name of the template, which can be anything to help you reference who this template is for and what types of services they have. For example, we can put fluffy Monday through Friday walks here. Next, we'll select the client that this template is for. Next up is the billing frequency. This is where you can establish how frequently your template is approved. This also controls how frequently the invoice for the template will be generated. There are several options here. Templates can repeat on a weekly, multi-weekly, semi-monthly, or monthly basis. For our template today, we'll select week at a time. This means that every week, an invoice will be generated for Fluffy's walks. Next is how often. This question is asking, how often does this template repeat? This option is only available for weekly and monthly templates. For example, you could create a weekly template that repeats every four weeks. That means only once every four weeks will the services in this template be added to your calendar. This is helpful if your client is a pilot, for example, and only works one week on then has three weeks off. The first occurrence is the first time period this template should approve into. Templates require a full period to be created. For example, since we're creating a weekly template here today, the week has already started, so our template will have to start next week on October 4th. The approval method determines whether you wish to manually approve this template or have it automatically approve. If manually approving the template, you will need to go into the Templates tab each period and click the Approve button. The approval date is how many days before the template's first day should the template be approved. This defaults to three days before and cannot be more than 180 days. For example, if you wanted to send your invoice to your client a week before their services start, you would set this to seven days. All invoices generated by this template will follow the date rules configured in your invoice settings. You can override this on a template by template basis by changing this setting. For example, if your recurring clients typically pay for services after they are completed, but your pet sitting clients typically pay before, you can set up your template invoice due date for after services are completed.
For projections, we will automatically block off time on your calendar for events that are part of this template, so you know not to schedule other services at this time. This setting configures how many weeks or months for monthly templates into the future to block off the time on your calendar. This setting also controls how far out in the future a client can see that they are scheduled. This option can be completely disabled if you prefer. Keep in mind that if projections are disabled, a client will not be able to see their services until they are approved. This also means that they will not be able to cancel or change services if needed until the approval. The default here is four weeks, but you can set this even further out into the future. For example, you could set this out to 12 weeks or even 52 if you wanted your client to see that they are scheduled out for a year. As the weeks go on, another week will get added to your projections. Finally is the description. The description box allows you to add any additional notes that you would like to refer to for this template. Clients will not see the description of the template. Next, we will save the template details. Our next step is to add services to our template. Click the Add Service to Template button at the top of the page. Next, we'll set the details for our client services, starting with the days of the week. Next is setting the time. And then choosing our service. Keep in mind that depending on the default duration for your service, this might change the time that you've set. We'll select our staff member and confirm the pets that are associated with these services. If the service you've selected has an extra pet fee, this will be selected by default. You can confirm or change the extra pet fees for the services by selecting the Extras button. Any holiday, after hours, or weekend fees will also be calculated automatically once the template has been approved. If you've enabled the Hide Exact Times feature for your schedule blocks, you can also input an optional client time display here. This changes what the client sees for the time of their event instead of the actual time. For example, if you did not want your client to see that they are scheduled from 2 p.m. to 3 p.m., you could just add afternoon here. Finally, you can add any additional notes to the services. This notes box will appear to both clients and staff members. When finished, click Save Changes. You will now see the services listed for the template under the Services tab. Next, let's talk about template approval. Template approval relates to when a set of services on a template is considered officially scheduled with an invoice. Templates that are set to automatically approve will be approved without any action required on your part. You can override the automatic approval at any time by clicking the Cancel Auto Approval button. Doing so makes this instance of the template work the same as a manually approved template. You will now need to manually approve or reject this instance of your template. Templates are automatically approved three days, or the custom number of days you've set for your approval date, before the first day of the period. For example, if you set your approval date to seven days before the template starts on your weekly template, this means that a week before your client's scheduled week of services, 
is when the template will be approved and the invoice will be generated for that week of services. Templates that need manual approval will not show up on your schedule until you manually approve them. You can approve them manually at any time. However, when an approval is due soon, we will indicate that a manual approval is required on the templates page. When a template that needs manual approval is past due, you will see a past due badge on the template. Next, we'll go over how to cancel or change a pending template event. The first way of doing this is by going to your calendar and finding the event that you need to cancel or change. We can see our pending events in this orange color. If we click on the event, we can either delete this event or edit it. By clicking edit, we can change the details of this particular event only. For example, if we need to change the time of this event, we can choose a new time and click save changes. This will not affect the rest of the days on the template. If your client lets you know that on Friday the 16th they won't be needing your services, you can select this service and choose the delete option. This pop-up window tells us that this is a pending event that is part of a template. Deleting this pending visit will prevent the template from scheduling it as an event when the template is approved. You can always undo the deletion if needed. Now this event has been removed from the schedule and will not be approved onto our client's invoice for this week. You can also cancel or change events from the templates screen. You'll go to the templates tab and select your template. From here, we can see the calendar button in the upper right hand corner. This brings us to a new window that shows all of our pending events. From here, you can also click on events to edit them or delete them. Keep in mind that on the client's end, they will not see pending versus approved events the way that you do as an admin. Clients will see whatever you have projected for them when creating your template. So if you have set your projections for six weeks, the client will be able to go in and request to cancel or change an event up to six weeks out. If you've set up a template for a client, make sure to let them know that their schedule has been created already so they don't go into the portal and request the same services. Time to Pet has several tools to help make scheduling your clients easy and efficient. We've discussed templates in depth today and the special use case for creating a template for your clients. If you have clients that have changing schedules, but you would still like to schedule them for multiple days at a time, we have other tools that can help with this. However, it's important to note that only the templates tool can automate scheduling and creating invoices for clients based on a set frequency. For example, if you have a client who requests services that will repeat over the next few months, but will change after a specified date, you may prefer to use the repeats tool on the scheduler when scheduling services for a client. Unlike templates, the repeats tool allows you to set an end date for this set of services. It's also important to note that scheduling a client with the repeats tool will result in one invoice for all services. For example, scheduling repeat services from October 1st to December 1st would create a larger invoice with two months worth of services. Another option for scheduling clients with varying schedules is to use the trip tool. The trip tool allows you to schedule multiple services for a client at once over a set date range. For example, 
If your client is going out of town for a few days and they need two dog walks each day with an overnight visit in the evening, you can easily schedule this with the trip tool. Select the dates for the trip at the top of the page. Choose your primary service, your staff, confirm the pets for the services. You can also add any descriptions for the services or notes here. And finally, at the bottom of the page, you can set the client's schedule. The trip tool will add three services with three time slots per day by default. You can always remove any of these time slots or services you will not need, or even add more at the top. You can also change the services each day. For example, we want to change our evening service to pet sitting. By clicking Schedule Trip, this will schedule two dog walks per day with a pet sitting visit in the evening from Wednesday, September 30th to Saturday, October 3rd. If you'd like a deep dive into the trip tool, we have a separate video on how to use this tool in our knowledge base. Thanks for joining me today for a review on the templates tool. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out to us at support at We're always happy to help.